Good afternoon. Uh, we are online now for the, the first uh, course on the nose. I'm Dr. Respalo. I'm a facial plastic surgeon. I'm based in Geneva. I was trained in Nice and Monaco, uh, and my passion is really the nose. So when you have to assess the nose, before injecting the nose, you have to know if it's a good candidate and then which aura you are going to inject. And of course, the n number one is safety. So safety because you see here behind we have a little bit of the vessels and what we can see is max maximal of vessels are lateral. Here, the, the facial artery, the angular artery, the supratrochlear artery. So if you stay medial, you reduce the risk by 99%. And by injecting the nasal spine and the columella or the dorsum medially, it's 100% uh, safe if you're very slow and very careful. So we have the chance with the Viva C range to have a lidocaine in the product. So when you inject, you have to inject slow. And then this lidocaine numb the area. And of course, I like to inject anterior grade and retrograde so the product can push a little bit the tissue, the soft tissue. And then you can minimize the risk of have some vascular problem. So we have uh, our uh, first case. Uh, what's your name? Leah. 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 She's 25. Voilà. Beautiful face. No, no. Look at the camera. It's there. Voilà. Can you zoom out a little bit? Okay. On camera five, zoom out. Voilà. Perfect. C'est bon. So what we see is on the front view, the nose is straight. The tip is a little bit wide. So with the filler, what I talk, teach to the, my patient, talk and, and teach to my patient, I cannot maximize the tip because the filler is adding something on the nose to hide and to correct some deformity. So if the patient wants to reduce the tip, this is a surgical rhinoplasty. Can you go to camera six? So camera six is a profile, right? So we have a convexity, it's not a hump, it's more a convexity on a Leah nose. And then I look at the position of the tip. The tip is lower than the dorsum. You see, if I push on this mobile part, I see the dorsum of the nose and the septum who is pulling. So this part is mobile. This is the, the, the soft uh, alar cartilages. And this part is fixed. The bone stop here, and then it's the triangular cartilage. So the... the, the, the um, the secret is, if I want to make this straight and more attractive, if I start by injecting the nasal frontal angle, look what happened, I will have a nose who start a little bit too high. So my opinion is, recommendation, you use anything that is straight, for example, that one. So if I put this on the nose, you see where I end up. I end up higher than the eyebrows. So it means that I need a lot of product in that gap. And then I will have a nose who doesn't look that good. In the opposite, if I start from this position and then I draw a line, I end up a little bit lower. And that means that this is a good candidate for an, an injection right here. But to do that, then I have to lift a little bit the tip, you see? So I mean, there is a convexity. I choose the highest point of convexity. I draw a line, and then I will inject here. But to start with that, I have to lift the tip this way. So the nasolabial angle is 100 degrees. We can accept on the lady 120, like this. And by injecting here, I can support the tip, have a good tip positioning, and then I can get a better profile, you see? So that's why I always look at the tip first, the tip support, we call it, and then with a uh, nasolabial angle injection, OK? You're OK? Go. Well, so my first entry point, now we go for camera five. First entry point will be here, just at the junction of the columella. This is the columella. This part of the nose is the columella from the tip of the nose to the lips. And the angle here with the lips. So exactly as the junction, this is the entry point. And then I will create a forced bolus on the nasal spine. 
and this bolus will become a pyramid. You remember yesterday we talked about the Eiffel Tower nose lift, and that will be entry point here. So first, stage one on the nasal spine, stage two on the columella, stage three on the tip, and sometime I will do a tip refinement. It depends on how, how high I want to move this up, okay? And then you have to think about the nostril, for example, if I do that, you see on the front view will be too high because you will see the nostril is not attractive, okay? And then the second entry point will be on the radix of the nose, right here. And from this entry point, I will, be, I will do a rectangular shape of injection. You can do bolus, but the rectangle is better because you recreate the two aesthetic lines which are here, okay? So that's the project. Maybe I will see at the end if I need a touch-up a little bit on the on the supra tip. We'll see. Right? Hello.